today's DIY, you will need one of these mirrors from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. This one. You're only going to need one. And you're going to need one of these Dollar Tree 11 by 14 frames. I'm removing everything from the frame and I am going to take the frame and my little wood pieces and, and these little drawers paper that came inside the photo frame and I am using it as my template. I simply turned it over and I made the grid for the tic-tac-toe and all the boxes are evenly spaced out. And, and then I was going to remove the masking tape and put the mirror underneath the glass. That's not how it worked out. So I proceeded with the following. What I did was I covered the masking tape with Mod Podge and glitter instead of just flipping the glass over and covering in the areas where the masking tape was at. And then once the glitter and the Mod Podge dried, I could have flipped the glass over and removed the masking tape, but I wasn't thinking right. So I did it the way I did it. So we're in the next room and I am spray painting that grid that I was trying to create where if I would have just removed the masking tape underneath, you would have seen the mirror. But that's not how it turned out. My darlings, you don't have to do this, but I did it. I am taking that cardboard from the back of the picture frame and I am covering it up with some of this gift wrapping paper that I purchased on clearance at TJ Maxx. Now I'm taking a glue stick and I am going to smother that cardboard and then I'm going to place the gift wrapping paper that I just cut to size and put it on top. Very nice, neatly, and smooth. side will be champagne and on the other side side will be um, silver with those two to cover them and make them clean. This is where everything just went wrong and I just couldn't think what I was doing so I improvised. If I would have been thinking straight, all I had to do was just take the glass, flip it over with the masking tape still on and done exactly what I did here, only on the glass side. And then once the Mod Podge with glitter was dried on that side, I could have flipped the glass over and removed the masking tape. But I woke up in the middle of the night with a full-blown migraine and when those happen i am not myself during the day so guys i apologize the idea for the grid was so that i could spray paint the grid remove the masking tape and you could see the mirror underneath i couldn't gather my thoughts i usually put the mod podge in a little container and I add the glitter to it, making the mixture, and then I... This, this, this was really... I'm looking at it as I'm editing this video, 
and I am upset because you can tell like I know what I was feeling right there and then that made no sense me sprinkling that glitter like that making the mess that I made that made no sense but that's what happens guys and this is why sometimes I don't post the DIYs on time because I suffer from migraines I did edges. this on the entire okay, glass I can take some acetone or nail polish remover with a q-tip if you're going to work with this this stuff guys this is really strong and it will break through your skin so wear protective gear if you're going to do it with a paper towel or anything that is going to come in contact with and your skin. If you don't have a mirror you can use this under it like this and it will it will look it will you will be able to and I'm doing this to show you guys that you can do this DIY with just Dollar Tree items. And this acetone is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go with this instead. And I'm going to put it there like that. Like this. Like this. to do is I'm going to put some hot glue all the way around the edges okay the letters on one side is one color and then on the other side is another color but these over here like you'll be able to see the difference so for that reason because you'll be able to see the difference I'm using this instead of the glitter on the letters So I'm taking the Gorilla Strong Adhesive and I am going to start gluing down the sticker gems and I'm going to do this throughout the entire glass. And so should you if this is the route that you're going to take. I'm going to fast forward and edit some of this footage out but you will see when you are further ahead in the video how it will look. We're going to take our four drawers and I spray painted them on the side. Not the bottom. We're going to flip this over. There's four drawers, one for each corner of the frame. And what I am doing is I am going to use a combination of Gorilla Strong Adhesive with the hot glue. And I'm going to glue them on the very edge of each corner, making sure that the edges of the drawers meet the edges of the frame. So you have to make sure that when you're Gluing the drawers underneath the frame that you flip those drawers over because if you don't flip the drawers and you glue them onto the frame, once you flip the frame over, the drawers are not going to open correctly for you. So you have to make sure that you have all four drawers to where once you flip that entire piece over like that, they're going to open up for you. Stickers around the edges of the frame. It looks better with the E6000 and it's still not even dry. It's giving me that option to move it around.
Here I'm taking some Mod Podge with some silver glitter and I made the mixture in a little bowl. Here I was feeling a lot better and I was able to gather my thoughts and think correctly after I took some more of my migraine medication. But guys, it happens and as you were able to see, I am more chatty when I am in pain because I try to get my mind off of the pain so I talk a little bit more. So let's continue here. I cover all drawers with the Mod Podge and glitter and let's continue with this DIY. I'm also going to cover the silver of the letters with this with the, this silver glitter instead of how I had done it. I covered the front and sides of each of the drawers with the Mod Podge and glitter mixture. Here I'm just using some strong adhesive to put a strip of diamonds on those four drawers. So I decided that this needs lights. I had these in my stash and I purchased these from Walmart. These were $3.99 and it's 30 lights and you need three AA batteries. So we can use, turn on and off the switch. We are going to put a little bit, a little bit of Hot glue there, 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 and there. Here. Okay, and we're gonna be able to stick our hand in there and turn on and off the lights. We're going to put this right there. And we're going to take a little bit of duct tape. gonna hold that light glue right there in the corner I hope you guys can see this and that that thick wire is going to go right there but only the the thinner wire of the lights okay and So I am trying to straighten out those light bulbs because sometimes they're they're wrapped around these little this little thing in the packaging and you have to make sure that the two pieces of wire on the end side of it is not what's showing. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to straighten out that wire as much as possible before I actually take the hot glue gun, put a dab of hot glue on each of the bulbs and glue them to the frame and it's going to start looking so pretty i just have to let you know because i love it i love it i love it i love it look do you see do you see oh look at the glitter 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 
I love glitter. It makes me happy. Here I'm going to use a piece of duct tape so to guys, just tuck I know you guys the rest of those lights underneath the frame. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's not. Maybe I should talk a little bit more. Let me know if you guys would be interested in story time. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know. So, my darlings, and that's what happens oh, when you don't love it. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We're going to take our mirror. We're going to flip it. Turn on our lights. We're going to put a dab of hot glue right there, my darlings. And we're going to do that. Now these are made out of styrofoam. Here I'm using four Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments from my stash on each of the corners which will be the legs for the mirror. Now this, oh music. So I ran out of those diamond stickers that I used on the frame and the drawers. And I don't want to use bling wrap even though I have so much of it. So I'm going to use some washi tape instead. And I'm just tired of the bling wrap. But as soon as I am able to step out and we have a winter storm out here, guys. Ah! Okay, as soon as I'm able to step out and find some more of those stickers that I was using, I am going to buy some and that's what I'm going to replace this washi tape with I'm using the washi tape on all four corners of the mirror here I'm using that same silver duct tape that I used earlier and I'm just going to cut little strips so that I could stick them at the bottom of each corner so that the washi tape does not come off space in the mirror that is all that I am doing Darlings. oh did you guys ever watch Huckleberry Hound it was always oh my darling oh my darling oh my darling Tell me what you guys think. And this mirror, even though it was purchased from the Dollar Tree, I purchased it a while ago and this one is sturdier and it's thicker than the other ones. I don't know why. Because I think 